Yo everybody, this is Rock of Great, aka The Toy Bookie, and in today's video we are going to be doing a review of the first edition Star Wars The Black Series, Cal Kestis? I, I, I don't know, I actually just, I just know him as Cal, and The Mandalorian figure. Uh, I had the chance, if you watched my last video, I went to Triple Force Friday at Walmart, my Walmart didn't even put stuff out. I actually had to open up a box myself and I plopped these out. I could have bought the whole wave, but these are the two I actually, the only ones I actually really wanted. Um, uh, I was a little harsh on Force Friday because I was disappointed, but I always feel like I give my honest opinions on these things and uh, also I don't want to be, I, I'm not just going to lie just for views or whatever. If, I, if I'm harsh on something, it's because, um, you know, like, that's my feelings, and when they do things right, I'm going to give praises. I have to say I really love these two figures, and I wasn't even going to do a review of them, but I just thought, you know what, let's do a review. I didn't really see many people doing the first edition uh, reviews, not that that makes a difference, I'm pretty sure the figures are the same, but I just thought, after I was playing with them for a little while, and I was like, these are actually really nice figures, so I was like, let's do a review. Okay, well... Um, first of all, I just want to say the boxes, I know they're called the Black Series, but boy, they should really just make them white from now on. I re they remind me of the uh, Power Ranger boxes, and I really like how those boxes look. I am sick of seeing the same black boxes on shelves. Uh, my All my stores still have, like, figures from The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi and Rogue One on the shelves, so... Any type of new toy on a shelf, I'm excited about. So, uh, we'll take these boxes away. I believe they're the same, they just have that first edition sticker. And now we can go over... Let's zoom in. Alright, wow. See, these, these figures just look cool. I love these muted colors. I actually wish maybe they went a little bit brighter on the colors. Because you could always mute them yourself if you're a customizer or a painter. Look at this. Uh, man, I just, I really like the look of this. This is the Star Wars I like. Um, I like that underworld type look uh, with the, the Jedi and, and just like these, the space creatures. I feel like these both feel like they could be in the same show or game or something together. Uh, I'm a fan of Battlefront and Battlefront 2, so... This game I probably will be picking up. I don't play many games, but when I saw... I just like the whole vibe of that game. Like, he looks like he'll be a fun pl uh, character to play. And I am a sucker for droids. I really love... Oh, he's out of focus. Out of focus. All right, hold on. Let's put these guys down. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there we go. So, I just really love this droid. And there's, people 3D printed him, and I'm, st I'm like debating on buying a life-size one of these droids. It looks like, um, I heard somewhere that he's like a modded goggles, like he's a, a set of goggles that the guy modded into a droid or something like that. Uh, I'm not really sure if that's actually true, or maybe the guy was just saying what he thought it looked like. He, he's pretty articulated for an accessory. Uh, they got the... It's like uh, very nice ranges too. It's like ball joint in the um, here, then there's just a regular hinge here, and then a ball jointed head. So very cool. Same with that Do droid that came with Ray. I wanted to buy Ray just for the droid, but I was like, I'll just wait because Rays always go clearance. So I'll just buy her when when the droid is on, you know, when it's on clearance or a sale or something. Ray is not going to sell out. In the past, every toy line Ray has never sold out. In my personal experience, I could go to Ollie's right now and buy seven Island Rays uh, for four dollars. So, all right, th that's that. And then just look at this guy, man. I, I also have to say, focus, buddy, focus. Okay, there we go. Um, look at that. You get like you could get cool Jedi poses. Like I love this pose. I want to do like some toy photography. They have uh, butterfly joints. Have to applaud Hasbro when they do stuff. Because if you don't, if you always just talk smack about the toy companies, uh, or even movies, if you just talk smack and you never praise, then they're not going to listen. They're going to just think that you're just making stuff up, always hating. So, 
I, you know, I like to praise when there's praise due. You know? You might not like The Last Jedi, but Solo was cool. You know, I, I liked... I like the vibe of Solo. Do I wish... It didn't need to be... I, I always feel like with Solo, it didn't need to be uh, Han Solo. Like, it could have been... They should have made that character like a different character. Called it something else. It's just that same movie, though. And I feel like more people would have liked it. Just made like a different type of scoundrel. Maybe it could have been called The Smuggler or something like that. If you make that Disney, just send me some fruit toys. Um, The Mandalorian. Look at him. This guy is sick, and he's a he's a Mandalorian figure with uh, butterfly joints. Also, even though his are pretty limited, still butterfly joints comes with cool accessories as a blaster and, and this pitchfork um, blaster that's reminiscent of the uh, Star Wars. What is it the Christmas special? First appearance of Boba Fett. Look at that! I want to get a cloth cape on him. Oh boy. This figure with a cloth cape, he has that new neck technology from, uh, like that Star Wars uses now with the little neck peg and the double ball joints. Boy, this figure is sick. I want to just buy a bunch of these when they go clearance and just make all kinds of different painted up customs. This guy is sick. I want the, I want a cloth cape right now. I might go make one because just imagine the poses you can get like with this guy when he's got like the, look at that. Sick. So, uh, that was just my thoughts on stuff. Remember, uh, if you're new to the channel, when I do toy reviews and, and, and toy unboxings, I usually just, it's like, it's just like a podcast type thing. I just talk about things. So, it's more about like toy time. You know, like chill toy time. So, not necessarily a review. If you want a review, there's a hundred people make reviews all the time. So, I try and do something uh, a little different. Boom, boom. Look at that. These figures look great. All right. Well, that was my thoughts on these figures. Go out and buy them if you like. Did you buy anything from Force Friday? Like, what figures did you pick up? Are you going to pick these figures up um, in that game? I'm actually... I, ho I hope it's good. I see a lot, a lot of negativity online, and I, I don't discount people's negativity. I, I always try and think, like, what are they coming from? You know, what? what why are they saying this? And I always believe someone could have merit in their speech with anything. So, you know, they're, they're hating on this, this uh, game. It might be for a reason. So we will see. But I, I always have to try myself to figure it out, you know. If I believe... Ooh, look. Uh-oh. Who would win? All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Here comes the outro. Woo! Thanks for watching, guys. This is Rock of the Great, a.k.a. The Toy Bookie. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. It helps promote my videos to other people because YouTube doesn't want to. And if you like what you see, subscribe because I do a lot of other content like this. I am a diorama maker and an artist. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, at Rock of the Great. I am a graphic designer. I've done work with bands from Take Em Back Sunday all the way to Mod Sun. I do other graphic design work. I've done some comic book stuff, comic work stuff. And if you like toys and you're into that type of stuff, I have a whole nother thing called The Toy Bookie on Instagram. And I do toy photography, I do toy reviews, I do toy dioramas, very cool stuff on there. Definitely check those two things out and see you later guys, peace.